hello boys and girls welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel and today we are going to be doing a makeup routine without using foundation and by that I mean no foundation no skin tint no pressed powder none of that no tinted sunscreen which is the same thing as a skin tint but none of my Ilia super serum skin tint <sighs> which makes me sad but it's okay I'm just saving myself money and products, so. I am not going to go right in with my concealer, actually. I'm actually going to color correct first. I'm out of green color corrector. I put some, like, um, medicated green color corrector on earlier today. Um, I don't feel like getting up and getting more. But the less product I can use, the better, so, which is why I'm using this, because it's not gonna set super heavy on my face or anything like that. I'm gonna start with my under eyes and I'm just gonna like mix some up. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the yellow and a little bit of the neutral so that it's not too yellow because my concealer is like a little bit on the yellow side. Yeah, we're just trying to get a little bit more of like a, you know what I'm saying? Eliminate some of them dark circles. And I hate mixing up my own product because, and like my own shades of stuff because like look at how much of that, that like could have been used. It feels very wasteful to me. I'm just gonna look and see if there's any other areas that could use it so that I don't waste it, but I don't think that there is. But I'm just gonna keep it there on the back of my hand just in case. <sighs> I really wish I had a concealer brush. Beauty Blender has dried up because I um, kept on getting distracted whenever I was recording or whenever I was trying to record. So now I don't have to use like near as much concealer or really any at all um, if I wanted to, but I'm going to use a little bit just to, to make my like um, eyeshadow glide on easier. Yeah, I wiped a lot off of- oh, I got some in my hair. I got- I wiped a lot off of the applicator. Oh, I forgot that I was gonna put a headband on. Let me do that real quick. Okay, so now I don't- after I color correct these, I don't know if I'm gonna like conceal them or not. Well, I mean, I don't- I don't really have that much green color corrector left. I could use some of the neutral. Um, but I don't know, like, oh, there we go, I got some out. We'll see if I, they need concealer or not after they're color corrected. I'm just doing the really red ones, I'm not gonna mind these, like, little bumps. I'm just gonna blend this out with my finger. I'm gonna try not to wipe off all the product. I'm gonna take some of this that I had mixed up. Just dot it on there. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and use blush. I'm going to use like a very like minuscule amount since my cheeks already do have like a lot of pigmentation in them. Oh yeah, I forgot that I need to probably like be talking like a little bit louder because this mic is like only has like a five foot range. I forgot what I had wrote in my little brain to be the topic for today of our video. So I guess, since we're not using foundation, we will be talking about um, feeling like um, obligated to, or like feeling like you're not put together without makeup um, and having like sort of like a reliance on makeup um, because even though I am comfortable with 
my bare face and going out without any makeup on I for certain things I definitely do not feel very put together without a full face on or even like without like I don't know what I'm trying to say like without like just like any makeup on and it's like I don't know it's weird because if you don't have on like a lot of makeup then you like you feel like you need to do more you know like you have this like subconscious thing in your brain telling you like maybe like oh like this is like a sort of more important thing maybe I should wear like a little bit more makeup but then if you wear too much you are trying to get too much attention you're being too cheap and you know but like I don't know like I've started trying to not rely so much so much on feeling put together like with like I've like stopped trying to rely on needing makeup to feel put together um, because you can be natural and be just as put together as someone who had the time that day or had the the mental stability that day to sit there and do their makeup and some days um, I'll like have like a really bad headache and I won't want to um, to my makeup that doesn't mean that I don't enjoy wearing makeup like when I first started um, like working um, I would wear like a new makeup look every day to my job and the days that I wouldn't wear makeup I wouldn't feel complete and I wouldn't feel put together <laughs> and I think that it sort of does have something to do with the fact that makeup is a creative outlet for me. Um, but also, like, oh yeah, and I am going for something a little bit more foresty today since I'm wearing a green skirt. You can't see it, obviously, but it is there. Actually, I'm just gonna stand up. But even though no one else was wearing makeup, it, it was, me it was like i felt like i needed to for me for my own validation even though that that is not a good that can be a good mentality to have to wear makeup for yourself but also and i still love the way that love like I still love the way that I looked without makeup it's just that I felt like I had just rolled out of bed and thrown myself together because I had just rolled out of bed and thrown myself together because I didn't want to wake up an extra 30 minutes um to put on makeup that I mean really didn't matter and I wanted to claw my face off the whole day so <laughs> there, there was no point in it honestly I love the fact that makeup is like a journey like it's one of those it's just like everything else in life like it is like it grows and evolves and then like sometimes you go back to doing your makeup the way that you did it um, a few years ago and then sometimes you hate that the way that you did it so you do it another way like you know it's something that's that you're constantly changing the way you do it whether conscious con, con, consciously or subconsciously and I don't know it's all it's like it's just so interesting to me whether it's a trend changing like how people were 
like plucking their eyebrows to be super thin and like a few years ago not like a few like you know like in like the 90s and early 2000s and then um and there was like the instagram brows and then there's like the fluffy soap brows and then now people are getting their brows laminated to like stand up to, so that they look more full um so the question is are brows gonna keep on getting thicker or <laughs> are we gonna revert back to um to the the very thin plucked brows also you guys y'all are just gonna have to like trust me on this okay like <laughs> it looks crazy right now but you're gonna have to trust me i think it would be interesting when i get like a few more subscribers by that I mean like a few hundred more subscribers so like you know re reaching reaching like you know like the more like 500 a thousand range um and doing like live streams um like but not like makeup live streams like figuring out how to set up like OBS on my computer and like playing video games or like figuring out how to set it up on my switch and playing like Stardew Valley or Zelda or something like that. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna do like a double eyeliner. Um, this one I'm gonna blend it out and then I'm gonna like do my bottom lash line but I'm gonna do like eyeshadow down there and sort of like let it like follow that line you know this one's for you mom because you you said you liked the way that I did this but I never do it anymore so here I am doing it again so she's getting like really patchy right there so I'm just gonna try to fix that with some glitter or something. I don't know. I feel like that may make, make it worse. I I think I just need to stop trying to run from my problems. I might have to add a wee bit more concealer after I get done with this. Maybe this wasn't like the best look to do um, without any foundation, but like. artistic hand leads me, so. I don't really know where to go from here. I guess I'm just gonna fill my eyebrows in. statement um liquid lipstick on and then we're gonna go from here 
because I always use this whenever I put on like a green makeup look and I have like absolutely no clue, no clue why. I don't know if I want to do like more fluffy lips or do like more like a lip, like a line lip. I think we're going to do a line lip today since um, we don't do that often. I keep on like forgetting to look like in the camera because I've like changed like the position of my phone and my camera from what it normally is. look and this is what it looks like up close um it was very difficult to blend my eyeliner out i don't know if that was the eyeshadow or the base but that's what like the skin looks like um it made my cheeks just look a little bit more red than normal um you can definitely see the concealer um but yeah, that might have just been because I color corrected and it looks a little bit more yellow than normal. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's all. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed, please be sure to.